Einstein is quoted as saying that if the honeybees disappeared tomorrow, the human race would only last another four years. He actually never said it, but it sounds good. One lady said to me, but what if you get stung and take a couple of days off because of your sting? And I said, well, if I took a two days off every time I got stung, I'd never get any work done because if I get stung less than three or four times in one day, I'm, I think I'm doing quite well. And now when I get home, my wife says, did you get stung? And I say, yeah, a couple of times. And she'll say, where did you get stung? And I'll say, I can't remember. Incredible. One of the, the um, problems in a situation like this is that they can be Africanized. The only way to tell really is to get a DNA test. If you're near uh, a, a colony of Africanized bees, they're probably going to come and check you out and more than likely sting you. Whereas a, a, a European colony, they might come and check you out. You might get a, an occasional sting if they're an aggressive colony, but they won't come after you in large numbers. You may be able to see there's a tiny gland just in front of her sting and she's creating a scent and blowing it up as far as she can. So she wants to tell all the rest of her sisters where to go. And one of the, the most interesting things I think about bees is the difference between a queen and a worker. If they need a queen bee, they just keep feeding it royal jelly and it gets much bigger. The, uh, the cell elongates, or they elongate the cell, and it, and it makes a new queen. And that's what causes a swarm. Well, just before the new queen hatches, the old queen flies off with half the workforce, and then the new queen hatches to replace the old queen. Here, there's a, the, the light is shining in the cell. You'll see at the bottom there, a little whisker. Looks like a, just a hair, really, white hair. That's the egg. Here you have larva, that are curled up the grubs, effectively. And here there are capped larva, which are changing from a, the larval stage to the adult bee stage. The colony collapse disorder has got a lot of publicity. Every year some, col some colonies will die out. With the colony collapse, there will be no bees, dead or alive. You open up the hive and there will still be honey in there. And it's, it, it, it's a, a real mystery. No one has come up with a plausible explanation yet. There's lots of theories. The one I've heard so far is that it's a combination of things, perhaps monoculture, agriculture, because they don't have a variety, they, they're deficient in something. There's a virus which has come, I think, from Australia, which possibly plays an effect, plus the varroa mite. I don't think we've experienced it to a great degree actually in San Diego, but the, the jury's still out and, and a bit more research needs to be done. Come through her backyard. Okay. Uh, he's on the side here. 